What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another deck critique here on YouTube, I guess. Um, this is a deck that was submitted by Nick W. He was on Patreon, and he got the highest tier of Patreon, which gives you one deck critique a month. And uh, this is a deck I've been meaning to go over for a little bit, but then the Vintage Cube came, and it was the holidays, and uh, lots of other distractions. So we're going to go over it today. And um, so <clears throat> it's basically... A Sapperling deck. Uh, Nick says, I've been enjoying your content recently. Became a patron at the island level. I recently came back to Magic after 13 years. Uh, I'm ready to commission deck critique as part of the patron. I've got a slightly strange deck I've been working on MTG Arena. It's been calling it, he's been, call <clears throat> been calling it Adaptive Mulch because it focuses on two things. Mulch, because it makes tons of sapperlings and uses various sacrifice death mechanics to get life card advantage, uh, such as Ashes of the Abhorrent, Blood, Divination. These both have you know, the Leave the Battlefield triggers. This guy has card advantage, things like that. Um, and Cushion the Blow board wipes. Adaptive reverse to the fact that I've tried to make this deck responsive to most of the archetypes in the meta right now. Its main board main deck main deck nick not main board main board is not a term its main deck is mostly mid-range it wins by either swarming on turn five to six or dragging the game out to become a bit more control until i get bane fire which works well with growing rights and growing rights is just basically guy's cradle when it flips add a green for each creature you control um I mainly added Banefire because matches against Jeskai like Control kept stalling with opponent of five or six, but countering everything. Adding the card has made a big difference. With si with sideboard, the idea is that it can shift from mid range to more controlling with cards meant to deal with Drakes, Jeskai, Golgari, etc. All right. So, one of the things I immediately notice is that Ashes is not a main deck card. This is not. I don't even think this card is great now. The only thing this does is shut off the shut off the jumpstart cards. Right. It doesn't shut off. Um, it doesn't let you stop getting things back from the graveyard, so it's not going to stop like Golgari Fine Broker. It just prevents you from casting like your jumpstart cards, basically. And uh, whenever your creature dies, you gain a life. Like Slimefoot is already actually doing that for us, because almost all of our creatures, other than these guys and these main guys, are Sapperlings, right? So, um, <clears throat> similarly. Poison Tip Archer is just a worse slime foot, right? Okay, so this has Reach and Death Touch. This doesn't, but I think the upside of being able to create Sapperlings is stronger than Reach and Death Touch. Whenever an opponent and whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. And this is whenever a Sapperling dies, this deals one damage to each opponent and you gain a life. So this is actually better because you're not only dealing damage, you're gaining life. So they both have a similar ability. They're both two threes, except this just works so much better than death than poison tip archer not only because it costs one less but it also gains you life as well as dealing the damage and you can make <clears throat> you can make sappy boys one problem is that slimefoot is legendary but um you know what can you do gate to the afterlife i mean gate to the afterlife i'm pretty sure it was an almond cat card which is no longer legal and standard <clears throat> Yeah, I have no idea why we're suggesting this. That's weird. <clears throat> and I might just clear the throat. Fungal Plot's also a little interesting. The reason being, exile, you have to exile a creature card specifically. And the deck only has 16 creatures in it. So, we don't actually have a ton of creatures to exile. And, and having to pay 2 mana to get 1 Sapperling is not real, really where we want to be. Uh, I think, by and large, you're almost better playing, like more sapperling migrations if you like a card like that you know what i mean so i'm not sure i'm in love with that also blossom dryad was a card that's in here uh it's a dryad doesn't really have any relevance it's just literally a ramp card but the one three druid of the cowl is actually just better than that or i mean i'd rather just have an elvish rejuvenator number three because like this has to stick around to get the advantage whereas this guy just gives you the the advantage immediately. So I'm definitely taking out the Abhorrent, the Ashes of the Abhorrent. I just don't think it does anything. Uh, Blossom Dryad can come out. I'll just play another Elvish Rejuvenator for now. Mm. The other card that I would consider... Um, 
was I mentioned was Druid of the Cowl. Because if you're just adding, <clears throat> if you're just untapping a land, I mean, the thing is, like, it gives you double, it helps give you double white for things like Settle the Wreckage and Cleansing Nova, which I'm not even sure I'm sold on because um, they are double white in a four color deck, which is rough. But we're going to play some games. We're going to see how it goes. I just want to make some initial changes because I see some some glaring issues so far. We do have a lot of three drops. Elvish Mystic could be a good addition. Um, I don't like Fungal Plots. Like I, like I said, I don't think we have enough creatures to make it good. And paying two mana for a 1-1 one, one is not ideal. So I'm not super sold on that. <coughs> I do like Vraska. I think Vraska would be a great addition, even as like a one or two of, because you have so many easy things to sacrifice. Oof. So I would actually take Mentor of the Meek out, and then we can cut all the white cards from the main deck. And I'm pretty sure you can actually just cut the white cards. Camaraderie is actually pretty cool, though. Um, yeah, Mentor is actually pretty good, too. I'll take another Fungal Plots out, and we'll just actually play two Vraska. Vraska is like a, almost a better Fungal Plots, considering what it does. It's definitely, it's got to be better than Divination, right? You're both sacrificing. Drawing three cards, you draw a card, right? But <clears throat> but you're also getting a Planeswalker out of it. But we also have Immortal Sun, which is why we weren't playing Vraska to begin with. So that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of a non-bow, unfortunately. This is a good reason why we don't actually have Vraskas in the deck because of Immortal Sun, but... Isn't there another, like, pump effect? I mean, actually, Spore Crown Thalad is probably just better. We probably just want to play more Spore Crown Thalads. And I'm going to take the Immortal Sun out for now. And I'm actually going to add two more Spore Crown Thalads. Take out the Blood Divination. I think you actually just want four Spore Crown Thalads. <clears throat> also, Song of Fraley seems great with Banefire as well. So I'm going to take out the other Fungal Plots. I'm going to add another Spore Crown Thalad. I'm going to add another Song. And I'm going to try it like this. I think this is actually a good starting point. I, I'm not I'm not in love with the sideboard. I want to see how it works. I'm not sure like we have enough. I, I just don't think you want double white cards in this deck, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the sand. Hand seems good. Well, it's hard to say that for the white is necessary until we sideboard. Like, we might just have a pretty bad... Let's make sure this mic is... Why don't you, like... Anyway. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're good. In terms of micage. Okay, so we're going to keep this hand. If we leave with Forest, we can just play all our lands untapped, which is nice. I'm not sure... So here's the problem. I'm not sure how competitive this deck is going to be against other decks. The problem with March of the Multitudes is that it doesn't make Sapperlings. So, like, we're just, we have no reason to make a bunch of elves when s both Spore Crown Thalad and Slimefoot only care about Sapperlings. Thank you. <clears throat> Super Fritz, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I guess we can just Spore Crown Thalad here. I really don't want to play this, but six mana is a lot to wait. This actually gives us two blockers, which means they're taking eight. If they want to not save it. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's got to be this. I can't <clears throat> I can't imagine we're going to kick this in any reasonable time frame. Like, 
Like, do you even block? Wow, I'll just I'll block. Good deal. <laughs> do you take four here? Wow, four damage. Now who is the aggressor? <laughs> That's gas. Will you switch over to MTGA? I mean, I've been playing MTGA. I've been playing MTGA a good amount. But I can't play Vintage Cube on MTGA. I can't play Modern or Legacy on MTGA. So, like, I don't know what switch over means. Like, I've been playing both. Um, is it growing rights here? No, we want to just ramp, right? This also gives us another body for Adanto Vanguard blocks. Yeah. Also, Arch of, Ar Arch of Arazka in a four-color deck is pretty greedy. <clears throat> yeah, if you guys are if you guys aren't following me on YouTube, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, and it'll say all the MTGA all the MTGA videos are up there as well. So, Mon Sonster, what's going on, buddy? Oh, hi, 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 Mon Sonster. I can't tell if that was good. Oh. Well then. So this is also rough because like you're looking at the top four cards to find a creature, but you only have 16 creatures. So you're going to whiff a lot and it's just going to be like, oh, I didn't hit anything. So this is another card I'm not too happy about. Do we even attack here? I don't think we even attack here. Like, they're going to block here, they take one, and we lose a 2-2, two -two, and we don't really have any profitable blocks, so we're just taking a lot more. That doesn't seem good. <clears throat> I'm not thrilled about that. We draw a two drop here we can play uh isn't just attacking with the two two oh probably because it's a one one i always think it's a three one. Oh god oh i always forget that oh i see well that's the thing i'm not really excited about One, two, three, four, five. We can put them to six. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I mean, I kind of just have to Bane Slayer this. Otherwise, they make four fours. Bane Slayer, Bane Fire this. <laughs> Bane Slayer this. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like they're just going to raise the alarm or something, but we'll see. So go heroic reinforcements with divine visitation. They're probably just dead at that point because it'd be four, eight, nine, ten, and yeah, we'd be dead. Heroic, heroic reinforcements kills us, and there it is. Feels good to be right so often. Well, we're definitely bringing Night of Autumn. Yeah, Growing Rights is kind of poop. It just doesn't hit creatures. Like, it's kind of rough that way. Um, I don't think Camaraderie is that great. Like, I don't think we're going that wide. Like, we have Sapperling Migration and you have my Sapper, but we're not... We're actually not going that wide. Maybe we are. I mean, like, I have Tender Shoe Drides and Spore Swarms that we just didn't see. I also like Tribunal a lot. It just gets rid of things that are very problematic. To get song for now. Add two tribunals.
I mean, we didn't have any mana issues. Most of our cards cost one color. There's no double green, double, no double white, no double black cards in the main deck. Our black is a very light splash for Slimefoot and Vraska, and our so is our so all of our splashes are pretty light. Um, yeah, this seems good. We can keep this. Uh, cube is not over. I just have to mix it up sometimes or else I'll go literally crazy. That's not true. I would be cube drafting if I could. I just have some things to get done. I want to actually get this done because this is commissioned a while back, so I want to make sure I don't put it off for too long. Um, we have two lands. I think it's probably just correct to play this. And then we can spore crown thalad next turn and swing for four. <clears throat> Oh, tr double. Oh, all right. All right. This guy's 100% dead, but that's fine. Not dead? Well, I'll be. Oh, they found their white source. That's. Conclave. Tr mm. Cool. I'm having a good time. Land, please. Not a land. All right. Well, I definitely think this deck also wants 25 lands. So uh, 24 lands is a bit greedy when you definitely want to hit your fourth and fifth land drops. So. Seems good. <clears throat> Let's block. Yep, that was pretty okay. Let's just pass here. For obvious reasons. Do you take two here? Ooh. Conclave Tribunal. <laughs> also good. Also good. The problem is we have no real answers to cards like this. There's literally not a single card in our deck that deals with that. <laughs> Sammy, don't no worries, buddy. Play what you and watch what you enjoy. Have a good time. Enjoy GDC GDQ. Like you did last summer. Let's again. Oh, all right. Seems good. No, they they said no. They changed their mind. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. My room was started, but I have a bunch of cables and things on the floor there, so. I have to make sure it does not do that. Yikes. Okay. I have no clue why speedruns well. I have no clue why football is popular, so I guess we're even. Like it's just a matter of like different perspectives, man. Like, football is pretty dumb. It's just a bunch of dudes throwing a ball back and forth. Like, but people like it, and I accept that. So we attack with everything. They just go block here, block here. They take... Not great. 
Um, I don't think we're playing Mentor. I think we're probably just going to play uh, Spore Swarm here. Do we have... Is there any card that like lets us break through? Is there like a trampoly card? Isn't there one in the new set? That eight mana creature? American football or real football? Uh, American football the band is one of my favorite things ever. But the, I mean, they're both, they both follow the same pattern, right? Like they're both guys kicking balls around, right? Yeah, Crater Hoof Light. That's the dude. Sure. <clears throat> if we hit a land, yeah, it's pretty good. Because then these guys are all 4-4s. Four and that's pretty scary. I would love to have a better answer to cards like Aurelia. I actually feel like you just want Conclave Tribunal in the main deck because it's just so good. Like, it lets you go, like, Spore Swarm into Conclave Tribunal. Like, if you have five mana. What's up, Munpreta? I feel like this fan is being quite loud today. I'm going to turn it off for now. So if you guys notice the difference in the volume levels, it's because the fan is off. They keep, they keep tricking me and thinking I'm they're attacking with the Legion War Boss, and then they end up not doing that. I feel like we can just take. F f who did they give the Who did they give the pump to? Did they not give it to anybody? That's weird. Yeah, we're just going to try to win here. And we have to hit a land. That comes into play untapped, so not like a Dragon Skull Summit. So go block, block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. They take ten. Come on, one time. Let's see. This is my timely... This is my heroic reinforcements. Uh, got him? If they have an answer for this guy... Oh, we got him. Man, we're good at this game. Alright, so... We do have two Conclave Tribunals for Aurelia. Veraska's contempt seems a little greedy. Like, oh man, I'm so I'm so I'm so suspect on these double black like double black cards are real iffy. Like we only have one, two, three, four, five, seven black swords, and we have to hit two of them to hit like a Vraska's contempt and a golden demise, and golden demise is gonna kill all our things most of the time. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, even if they seal away the Thalad, I'm pretty sure it's still lethal. Actually, maybe it's not. Because I would take out way two damage and four separate. So I think they go to like two if that happened, but it didn't really seem like they were playing seal. Like, they didn't seem like a seal away deck. Yeah, I don't like any of these double mana cards. I think they're just way too greedy. Like, we happen to have double blue that game, but or double black, but we never had double white. I don't think. I think it was, like, forest, forest, wooded, wooded, woodland, woodland, and then one sun petal grove. Also, I don't understand... Like, you have, you have only two swamps, and, all like, you have so many more forests than... Uh, 
than swamps. So I feel like this should just be rootbound crag if you want to splash this. Same with this. Like your forests are plentiful. Like all the cards that mostly a lot of the cards that are also like plains and 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 swamps are also just forests. So you have one, two, three, four ways to get this untapped, or uh, to get this untapped, and you have one, two, three, four to get this un this where to go, this untapped. But you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ways to get like this untapped. So I just don't, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't think Manfair is great in this deck or other play more. Yeah, but like you're, you haven't even played the deck yet. This is our second match. So like I, I feel like if I could just look at a deck and be like, I don't like this in the deck, but I do like this in the deck, I think uh, I'd be making a lot more money doing this. That's why we're playing the deck. We're literally testing to find that out. I'm also not a big March of the Multitudes fan because it makes elves. Like it doesn't even make... I don't know. Maybe that doesn't matter, but I mean, like we're a very Sapperling-centric deck here, so... <clears throat> so I'm going to sun pedal into this guy, into this guy, into this guy. But we'll see. Entering the battlefield, don't. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate, but kind of weird. Do I even have creatures that enter the battlefield with abilities? Like, it doesn't affect Tender Shoot Dryad. Like, the only card it really affects is literally Elvish Rejuvenator, and I have two in my hand. That's kind of shitty. Yeah, I mean, sure, it hits night, but, like, they didn't see a night, so it's a weird thing to board in. Do we have a way to get rid of this? And even if we do, like, is it going to matter? Like, are we ever going to get rid of this? Probably not. So I'm just play this. Sure. Seems fine. Something not... It's actually pretty good. Then Veraska goes to one, though. I guess they only have one dude on the board after that, so maybe that's a real play. We kill one of them. We can't kill both, though, which is a problem. I guess we can block. Because next time we can play an elf, tick up. I mean, we're definitely going to block here. We tick her up to three, and then they have one power on board. They're missing land drops. That's just turn five. They've missed. At least two land drops. Only two. This so is a tribunal get rid of our Varaska. Maybe. Yep, easy block. Let's 
Seems good. Hmm. Well, I guess we just main phase this and sack one of them. Could sack a land, but I don't really feel like doing that. Oh, that's going to be lit. Uh, we'll just jump block the... Actually, do we double block? I don't think so, right? Maybe we double block here. That seems fine. Frasca goes to two. We can play Migration. Saproling Migration. Oh, that's a good one. Most annoying deck in standard? I actually don't know. I don't play nearly enough standard to know. I'm pretty sure the Golgari deck is pretty obnoxious just because it's so grindy, and I'm also pretty sure the uh, Is It Drake deck is so obnoxious because it could just win out of anywhere. But... So we got white, white. I don't think we need double red. So we can actually sacrifice this green. That's pretty good. So we're gonna double we're gonna single block here and triple block here. And Vraska should take one. Or three rather, and go to one rather. So I think Is it Drake's is annoying. I just don't think it's actually like I've never had a real hard time with it. Seems good. Well she doesn't have haste, I guess, so I guess Vraska is dead. Yep. <laughs> yep, we're just going to take it. No blockums. We had a good run. Sun Petal Groove. <sighs> It's got to be Tender Shoot Dryad here, right? And then next turn we can Camaraderie, perhaps. Maybe we overpaid, but whatever. We'll attack with three. <clears throat> I don't think you have super profitable attacks or blocks. Sure. Sure. I mean, ideally, they just have no way to deal with our Tender Shoot Dryad. They probably have Fire Cannonade in hand, and they were like, well, I'll just save it. This guy was going to, the 2-2 was going to die anyway, so they might as well block, and now they can Fire Cannonade and wipe our whole board. Which is really sad. No, four mana. Yeah, that's what we figured was going to happen, but I guess that's okay, that's... Not as bad. Pump your Aurelia, please, so that you can put a counter on this. Do it correctly. You did it wrong. Okay. Well, what can you do? Oh, actually, this does this, this, uh, you gain five remote. Nope, still doesn't have a lifelink. Okay. So if you're going to attack with both, you literally could just cut five, six, seven. This would have been four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you just missed a point. Knight? Support crown dialogue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems good, right? 
So we can go green, black, spore crown, thalid. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I miscounted. I'm very bad at this game. Well, we're not dead yet. Oh, I probably counted this. Did I count the stupid city's blessing as a land? Because it's literally back here with the lands and it looks like... Oh, God, that's obnoxious. Yeah, that's annoying. I mean, maybe it's possible to still not die here. Yeah, that's really obnoxious. This does not look like modern because it is not modern. Very astute observation there, Mike. Yep, if they actually pumped this guy, we'd be dead, but no such luck for them, I guess. I mean, I'm sure they'll still find one one more point of damage, so I'm not really... I'm not too worried about surviving this turn. I think we're dead. But I think it came close, especially for our first try, so... Also, we, we saw zero... Slime feet. And, oh, they did it again. All right. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not understanding. Um, but we saw zero slime feet in in all three games. So, do you have like lightning strike to kill us? Do you have a way to kill? Oh my god! Thank goodness we can't camaraderie for a million. Cool. So if Banefire was March of the Multitudes instead, it would just be worse. Yeah, like Banefire is a rule spell. Cool draw. All right. Well, very close, very close. All right. So I don't love camaraderie. I think it's just, I think the white is just too cute. I just don't feel like you even need it. Like you have Tender Shoot Dryad, like the deck just gets so much more. Like we're looking for something that pumps our team. What pumps teams in standard? Let's do a quick search. Advance. Type line. No. Uh, text. Creatures you control get in green. Black. Declare dominance? Doesn't that. That targets one creature, right? Like, that's not really. Yeah, that's not really what we're looking for. No cards found. Okay. Is this correct? Creatures you control get... I don't know. Oh, it's not. I put exactly these colors at most of these colors. All right. Charge, camaraderie, banalish marshal. Flower flourish, but again, we're looking at a... Eh, actually, Flower Flourish is not bad. Charge is pretty terrible. Bob the Scr Bober the Scrober. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I mean, we had zero mana issues that game, so I have no problem whatsoever with the mana right now. Uh, if we're gonna fix mana, we're gonna cut a color first, and then we're gonna then we're gonna fix mana. Um, Pride of Conqueror is not bad. Tristani, not bad. Prestani also makes elves, not Saperlinks, though. Like, we're trying to be Saperling centric so if you guys could actually skew your suggestions towards Saperlings, uh, that would be appreciated. March of the Multitudes and Trostani are all Saperling based or uh, Elf-based. We are trying to sap here. Growing Rights of Lamak, not great. I don't think that card's good, especially when we only have 19 creatures. I do like Radiant Destiny. That's, I, was, I was actually just looking at Radiant Destiny. And then you can name Saperling pretty easily and be like, oh, cool. That works. Is that better than like Pride of Conquerors, though? I'm not sure. I 
Because they can see it coming if it's on the board. Vanquisher's Banner is interesting. Maybe it's like a one of. That might be actually like a better... Vanquisher's Banner might be a better... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Immortal Sun. The problem is it's it's whenever you cast a creature spell of the chosen type. So again, we're not casting that many sapperlings. Uh, I guess we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's look up sapperling and standard. Eh, I guess I can do it on the non uh the undecent search engine on the internet. What do we got here? <clears throat> well, that's not... I don't know why that... Let's go to type line first. Actually. Cards with Sapperling in the name. We're basically... We're using Sapperling Migration, Slimefoot, Spore Crown, Spore Swarm, and Tender Shoot. And yeah, we're using most of the good ones. So... Yeah, we're not looking up fungus type. We're looking up cards of sapperling on the on the. Man, you guys are quick to correct people. This is amazing. We're we're looking up we're looking up sapperling in the text box, not in the creature box. So, having a fungus creature type doesn't really matter if the text does not actually do anything with sapperlings. All right, I think we're good. You were just asking, oh, I see, oh, you guys are referring to Vanquisher's Banner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have to name Fungus, right? But then we also have Dryad, and we also have um, Elf, so it's not even that great. Which is, yeah, we're not we're not leaning towards that. I think Pride of the Conquerors is probably just better than Camaraderie. Like, for, for two mana instead of six, like, you draw a lot of cards, but you're trying to win with this anyway, right? So, like, I don't I don't think Golden Demise and Vraska's Contempt are great in the sideboard. I also think you don't... I don't think you need Settle. I think you'd just rather have more Conclave Tribunals. <laughs> And I also like more Night of Autumns because I think they're fantastic. Also, I think Song of Frailies is very good. Let's take out the Mentor. We'll take out the Camaraderie. I actually like the rest of the stuff in the deck. Uh, I think this is one too many mountains. I also think we can use another Rootbound Crag instead of a Cliff Top. Um. I don't actually even like the one mountain, to be honest. It's just kind of clunky. Uh, my problem with fungal plots, as I mentioned, is that we only have 18 creatures. We had 16 creatures, which is just not a lot of creatures. To, just to get a 1-1 one, one out of it, it's just not very good. Like, 1-1 one, one in standard is just not going to do anything for you. At least that's my opinion. Pride... Let's put three pro. I don't like your Arch of Araska at all. It's kind of cool, but like you just have so many. Let's add three Pride of the Conquerors. I don't hate Swarm Guild Mage, actually. That's kind of interesting. It is expensive, though. I mean, five mana to give all your guys plus one, plus zero, oh, and menace. But, I mean, you might just win. I mean, if we waited till Ravnica Legions came out. I don't know. We don't just have a fourth Yavimaya Sap Herd, right? Is there a card that gives all your creatures protection from something? Like... Text... You control protection. We'll say white and green. Most standard. No cards found. Fascinating. Does make a stand do that? That's actually not bad. 
I wish it was more than plus one plus zero. Oh. I could see like playing two make a stand in the sideboard. I think that's actually pretty okay. I have three from Oath and three from M19. Yeah, I don't think we care about Cleansing Nova if we have Knight. Like, the, the Artifact and Enchantment's Clause. The only thing you're trying to do is wipe the board, but, like, if you're wiping the board of your creatures, like, it's kind of rough. I don't think Remorseful Cleric also cares about Graveyards either. I'd rather have Death 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 Gorge Scavenger. I think this is a much better card for, like, Graveyard-based action. I don't think you want three Carnage Tyrants. I think you can go down to two Carnage Tyrants. I really do want to see two of these in the main deck. Add the fourth one to the sideboard. I'll add another one of these to the sideboard. 61 cards, huh? I do like Shalai a lot. I think Shalai could be a good one of. I'm not, I'm not really sold on Elvish Rejuvenator. I just don't think it's that great. I like the way this looks. We just have to make two cuts here. I don't think I think actually Banefire is pretty good. <laughs> I actually like Tetsuko. I think that's a cool idea. Um, it is blue though, so I'm not super excited about adding just a random blue card to the deck. I mean, we could cut one of the Sap Herds now. We can also cut one Slime Foot just because we have four of them and it is legendary. My concern is that we didn't add any creatures. <laughs> We added one Shalai, but like then we're cutting Sap Herd and Slime Foot. Yeah, Tetsuko does discourage pumping. Like I, we, we're gonna not want to play Spore Crown Thalad if we have Tetsuko out. Hmm. Divine Visitation is interesting. Well, I mean, it's also. Oh, we also have to hit it. We have to. We have to add one more land back. Do we just want two Pride of the Conquerors? I think we could probably get away with two. And two make a stand on the sideboard. Sort by color. We have one, two, three, four, five white cards. Five black cards. So black sources, we have this. White sources, we have this. So basically the same. Interesting. Uh, we're adding a land. That's why we're literally looking at a land. Um, one, two, three... I think there's actually enough black. Probably just want to add one overgrown tomb. Because it turns on all the other other lands. Midnight Reaper instead of Rejuvenator. Midnight Reaper doesn't hit tokens, though, which is kind of a big deal, right? Yeah, that's it's not great. Um, I like the idea of Midnight Reaper, obviously. I just don't think it's... I don't hate his orc. I don't. I just don't like the arch. Uh, we talked about it. We aired on the side of Pride of Conquerors. I don't like just putting it on the board and letting them be able to deal with it. Cosmotronic Wave is actually pretty neat. I kind of like the way this looks right now. Like we're still taking advantage of the sacrifice and the, and the card advantage with things like Tenacious Triad, Vraska. I'm still not sold on Song, but I think it could be very, very good. I could actually see Elfheim Druid. But the only thing we're, we're actually kicking is this, right? Like, we're not kicking anything else, right? So, like, it literally just helps us with migration. So, on turn th four, we can play a migration kicked. Whereas this guy just ramps our mana and could could hit a color that we miss. I have a cold and my girlfriend is mad at me. Is she mad at you because you have a cold? Because that'd be rough. I 
Yeah, all right. Let's try Elfame Druid instead for now. I, I mean, I might just like Druid of the Cal better just because the upside of the kick is so much worse than the, just having a 1-3. Having a 1-3 that, that can actually attack and... Yeah, we'll try Druid instead of Elfame. Or instead of a Rejuvenator. I think it's better. Yeah, but it lets you sack for two mana. It's not like it's super... Ch oh, it lets you sack to draw cards. Yeah, I guess. We've just never been that close. We've never been like, oh, you're at... Uh, maybe they maybe it's the... Maybe they have the Death Tip Archers. You can have both out at the same time. Deal a bunch of damage. I'm going to take one more Forest out and all Temple Garden. Because we did add a bunch of white cards. We added three white cards. Well, we took out a Mentor and we took out a Camaraderie. So, yeah, we added three white cards. That's fine. All right, let's try it like this. I think this is a... We need one more sideboard card. Hmm. Oh, I don't actually hate Militia Bugler. That's actually reasonable. I don't know if 18 creatures is enough, though. Thank you for giving me the courage to try MTG. I've had a blast drafting them. Just keep gotten two trophies, and I doubt I would have tried it out if it weren't for you. Thank you so much, man. Cyborg you. Glad to hear it, buddy. Really appreciate it. I don't love Arch, but it is what it is. Maybe we just add another, like, green. Maybe we just add a forest for the arch. I don't love arch. I just think you're never going to get to a point where you're actually activating it to, to do stuff. Like, is Deafen and Clarion? I don't think we want to... Eh. The life gain's pretty cool. The green-white Hawatli is terrible, right? Nope. Let's try. I... I don't even own any. I think it's pretty bad. I like this one because it, it makes you dinosaurs. Uh, where are you? Are you really not? Is this it? Oh, God. Four mana for four. Put a loyalty counter on it for each creature you control. All right, great. Work your journey's battlefield. You may draw a card. Okay, that's meh. Target creature. Uh, yeah, no, that's pretty bad. That's actually hot garbage. That is a that is a terrible planeswalker. I am I am offended at that planeswalker. All right, yeah, I think this is fine like this. We just, what's the what's our last sideboard card? Immortal Sun. Let's put an Immortal Sun in there. Sure. Hmm. What if we played Heroic and Reinforcements instead of Pride of Conquerors? That's interesting. Oh, I like a Vivian Reed a lot, actually. Vivian Reed's nice because it would have given us answers to those angels. Why aren't they... What's going on here? Do I not... What's, where are my Vivian Reeds? What's going on here? It's V-I-V-E-N, isn't it? Oh my god. There we go. All right. <laughs> that was really awkward. All right. So I actually like Vivian Reed a lot. We'll put one on the sideboard, one on the main deck, and we'll have to cut something for her. Maybe one song. Song seems very good. Might be one Bane Fire. I could see cutting one Bane Fire. But then we're at a point where it's like, well, do we even need Bane Fire? I don't know.
Hand seems okay. Street Riot. Interesting. I have a feeling we're just playing against Is It Drakes because that's what happens when you play against the red blue lands. Like, my, my issue is I don't want to devolve this into just a normal tokens deck. I think that's disingenuous to the to the spirit of the deck. We're definitely just casting this now. Because we're not going to have two of them, so... Might as well play this guy. Oh, a uh, clifftop retreat as well, eh? So now we have a nice little curve here. Is cube down? No, cube is fine. Cube is up to the 17th. What are you going to do about my song? Well, I have to get rid of this. There's no way. Oh, they clearly have a counter spell. Man, this is a big decision, apparently. Yep. Is my song going to resolve? I don't know. These are the questions we ask ourselves. So how you guys doing? You guys doing okay? Oh, they figured it out. They said, no, you can't have a song. No singing for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're actually just going to play Sapperling Migration here. I mean, we, we don't get to kick it, but next time we get to play Tender Shoot Dryad. And we have, we'll have the City's Blessings, so that's a lot of damage. I guess we just have to hope they don't have Deafening Clarion here, but they always do, so. Ready? Oh, that's not a deafening clarion at all. Well, biscuits. I have the city's... Look at that. I have the city's blessing. Thank goodness. What if they don't have a Deafening Clarion? Do we just win the game then? I feel like last turn we had four set.
lucky, lucky, lucky. Never don't have it. <laughs> Tajik would prevent that. Yeah, yeah, but then we have to play a red-white card. And, uh, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. Walladil, 50 months in a row, buddy. Frank, could you please refrain from all food-based metaphors and idioms? I haven't eaten all day and I'm hungry and now I want biscuits. All so high. I can see what I can do. This seems, this seems like a reasonable request. Let's get him. Uh oh. Oh, not my little gentleman. Well, I guess we can kill that next turn. Sacrifice blessing. Yeah, it seems good. Seems good. Oh, going to face? Aggressive. Sure. Vruska can go to Tuska. Um, do we just keep drawing cards here? I feel like we do, right? Let's sap again. Like we did last summer. Spork around Thalad's OP, guys. Never forget. Oh. Resolved. Oh, I have another seal away. You got a lot of seal aways for Crackling Drake deck. I'll be honest with you. Just go to six, man. It's not a big deal. Ain't a big deal. Just take your take your lumps. There you go. Oh, it might have said. Oh, all right, good to go, good to go. Ali Zed, thank you so much for Ali Zed. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Or that feels like a resub, but I could be wrong. Why don't they block and then cast this to kill our guy? Huh. Fascinating. Justice Strike. Well, that's never going to... Pride of Conqueror is never going to stop that thing. Dude, stop coming at my Vraska. She didn't do anything to you. She did nothing to you. Cool. That is a cool dude. Can we just kill them here? God, it's real close, isn't it? We can deal them four. <laughs> eh, I guess they're tapped. They're, they, they get things to do, so. It's a lot of lands. Like an awkward amount of lands. Where's that Bane Fire when you need it? One, two, three, four, five, six. And Vraska has finally died, unfortunately. All right, well, they don't have anything. Come on, Banefire, one time. Slimy boy. One, two, three. How about it? What do you say? Mm, what do you say? Make a stand is in the sideboard. However, it might be better. Well, I drew Seal Away and Sinister Sabotage. I'm very good at Magic the Gathering. You know what? Sure. Let's get another mountain, just in case. <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, now they're dead. Got them. I also really wanted the Pride of Conquerors win. Unfortunately, they got the Deafening Clarion. This format's scary. It's got Fiery Cannonade and, and Deafening Clarion. Just let's just draw the Bane Fire. Where's the Bane Fire? We're definitely boarding in Carnage Tyrant here. My god. Well, the lifelink puts them out of range. That's good. Watch, they're going to top deck Bane Fire. You ready? And it's just going to make us cry because definitely clear on. Yep, that's too much. All right. Well, we had a good run. Okay. So Carnage Tyrant definitely comes in. Vivian Reed can come in. Hmm. And take out Pride, take out Druid. I'm just gonna bring in all the like the utility cards. Make a stand seems better. Death Gorge Scavenger seems good. Knight of Autumn seems good. Dryad seems a little sensitive, unfortunately. <sighs> Song seems a little iffy. Do you want Death Gorge Scavenger and Knight of Autumn? Bring another tribunal. I think that's probably good. I like that. Two knights to kill seal aways. Or to just be four threes. Hmm. So everything comes into play untapped, which is nice. Solid draw, solid draw. I mean, they're all going to die, but like we can't just do nothing about it, so. Sure. Seems good. Also, Vres Vreska's ultimate's not unreasonable. They definitely clear around to kill one dude. That's gas. That's gasoline. If they have like Conclave Tribunal, we just still have Knight of Autumn. I really like both Spore, Cro Spore, Spore Swarm and Sapling Migration with Veraska because they give you a lot of things to just easily throw away. Oh, you're just gonna tuck this, huh? That's a that's a fine trade. Attack Shane, attack Tef.
This guy seems good, right? I mean, they could have Settle, but... That is not a Settle the Wreckage. So they block one, they take eight. Is that good? I don't know. We're probably just playing Knight of Autumn for... Uh, make it a 4-3. Because then if they block it, they take 7-8-9. So they kind of have to have Settle here. I guess they have Cleansing Nova, but then they just kill their own Niv-Mizzet too. So it's like, meh. Meh. I have three cards. Are they going to double Deafening Clarion? Because that's pretty hilarious. But they have Settle too. Go to four. All right. Well, shoot Vraska, attack Vraska. Okay. Yeah, Niv Mizzet is also such a beating. If we just play a teamer deck with they have Niv Mizzet and Carnage Tyrant, that seems like a good a good amount of six drops. Really? Huh. Vraska definitely seems good at drawing lands. Actually, I mean, this this configuration definitely seems better. Did they draw? Oh, they didn't draw Settle or else they would have actually... Oh, that's good. Oh! <laughs> hey! It's your boy. So, we could play Vivian Reed, try to kill this, and save the Banefire. I kind of just want to Banefire their face, though, right? Draw your card. You'll get caught up in the Banefire. Yeah, that seemed a lot better. Uh, maybe Tribunal is better because it deals with... Uh... Yeah, we'll take Knight of Autumn out. Tribunal just seems a little more versatile than Knight of Autumn in this matchup. Yeah, we should have attacked first, made them block, and then we should just... Uh... Oh, hey, by the way, Banefire your face. Um, this hand seems pretty rough. Yeah, this seems marginally better. If we can draw like a two drop or a three drop, I think we're okay, but... Uh, I like Scavenger a little better because it eats all the Chemister's insights and things, and it also makes their Is It Drake's much worse. Whereas Knight of Autumn only kills Seal Away, and... We already have both Vivian Reed and Conclave Tribunal for that, so. All right, well, slow match. What do you got? Whoa, that just resolves? We're definitely not sacking a permanent here. Seems fine, though. 
That is fascinating. And this is why we got Knight here. This is why we got our... Oh, Vivian Reed actually just demolishes that. Uh, no. We're definitely trying to reach the Carnage Tyrant. Uh, they're called Crackling Drakes? What did I say? What did I call them? What did I, what did I call... Oh, you hear that? That roll there? Oh, look at that guy. Carnage Tyrant, doing what you do. Get rid of a forest here. Double Spore Crown Thalad? And we put one on the bottom? Didn't we put two on the bottom with Vivian Reed? That's a lot of Thalads. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Now I wish we Knight of Autumn the Ixalan's binding, but what can you do? Haji Golashi, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Eight months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hey, we're back above 500. What an emotional roller coaster this has been. Star of Extinction. Seems good. Must be nice. Man, I felt like this match was going very, very well up until Star of Extinction. Mm -hmm. Never don't have it. I mean, theoretically, we could have played Make a Stand there. Uh, could have played one and kept up a Make a Stand. We have two in hand. That's probably better. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Having a good time. Yep, felt like we were in real good shape from the, uh, the Vivian Reed coming down on empty board, killing the Ixalan's Binding, to the Vraska coming down after that, to the Carnage Tyrant. And then they play one Star of Extinction and it kills everything. Will you not have Trostani? No. Yep, that's going to be the end. I'm not going to deal with an active Tefri and a Chemistry's Insight in the graveyard. And that just seems like bullshit. All right, so. <sighs> there's nothing that I didn't actually dislike. I think they just got. I don't think Song is great for us, it's just too slow and cumbersome. What's good? What's good? I think we do want a fourth sapper. We just want another dude to play. Or another druid of the cowl to ramp into the four drops, which I think is fine. Make a stand might be better than pride. Just because of all the nonsense going around. With 24 lands, I'm actually surprised at how many how many lands we're drawing. It's pretty unbelievable. We still have yet to draw a single slime foot in any game at any point. Which would be actually pretty decent against the like the board sweeps when they're like, oh well I guess you gotta take four and we gain four, but 
no bueno. I feel it is too, but like we can't. We only have that many. We only, we only have so many slots here. I'm wondering if Tristani's just better than Tender Shoot Dryad. I don't think so, but especially with Make a Stand. Was he countered? I don't even remember that happening. I think we can cut one tender shoot dryad. I would I would probably rather add another Vivian. We already had fungal plots. With 18 creatures, it's not great. Like 18 creatures is not enough to really take advantage of fungal plots. It makes a, plus it makes a one-one. I, I don't actually know the yeah. fungal plots be, keeps being suggested, but it seems terrible. Like it's just two mana to make a one-one in standard is not where you really want to be. I mean, I do like having another Vivian Reed, actually. I think Vivian Reed's great. Yeah, like, if you look at the last match, we had... How many creatures do we have in the graveyard? One, two, three. We had four creatures. One, two, three, four. Like, we actually could have made four one ones. I don't know if that's even good enough, though. Previous match, we had one, two, three... So, like, you get to a point where, like, you make three guys, but then you have, like, no follow-up, right? You're like, all right, I'll exile these four guys. I'll make four one ones. Now what? You know, and it's just a weird situation where you're just like, I don't know what else to do now. Can we talk about these little cuties on Yavimaya Sapherd? Look at these little guys right here. Look at these little sappy cuties. You got the little legs here and the little hand. I can't. What are you missing? We got one more card. One more card. And then we get more sideboard slots now. Isn't there like a heroic intervention in the set where like all your permanents become indestructible? I don't actually know. Do you just want a fourth druid? That doesn't seem great. Like because I want to, I want to be able to actually. We can add one more. I think that's fine. We still need sideboard slots though. Um, I want to be able to like. Yes, I understand. I understand her great reinvention is is in Aether Vault. I, I'm asking if there's something similar to that. Um, I want to be able to just make the Planeswalkers indestructible because they die to things like Star of Extinction. It's pretty bad. <coughs> All right, two more sideboard slots. What's common? Is there any like flyer removal, like Plummet or Crushing Canopy? I guess. You just add two crushing canopies for now. <coughs> Those cute little one ones, yeah, you'll probably just throw them in front of an angry knight as a chump logger. Go get him, little sappy baby. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> I would never do that.
Come on, let's go. Somebody jump in the standard queue with us. What sort of decks do you critique? Whatever, whatever deck you want critiqued. Come on, let's go. God, no one wants to no one wants to play standard. Well, right now anyway. In the past, it was not an issue. How much for a life critique? I need guidance. It'd be a little bit more. Would you play a DC, what, like a deck critique on MTGA for $5? Um, five is a bit low for just for my time. And like, uh, my, my, my problem is like I don't actually have all the cards on MTG Arena either. Best two of three seems pretty fine. Um, but like, it would still probably take about, I would still, ma I still imagine a two out of three, so it takes about a half an hour to an hour. Um, I don't know. It's, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. Well, I don't know. Well, that's. That's just accidentally open in Photoshop, I guess. Well, this is a long wait. I am uh I'm intrigued by how long this has taken. I also like I said, I don't have all the cards yet on or like I mean I don't know if yet is the correct word, but I also don't have all the cards on MTG Arena, so Wow, this is a this is a long one here. I'd love to get you to play another commander deck of mine sometime. You always seem so relaxed. Oh, I actually like commander a lot. It's nice because it's not like super pressured. Like I always feel like when you're playing standard or modern, like you're playing it with the intent of playing it in events, right? So you're gonna be more competitive. Um, whereas commander, I'm just like, well, crazy shit's gonna happen. Same thing with vintage cube, I think. Wow, this is. I'm just gonna exit and leave, and and rejoin because this is ridiculous. Maybe it's broken. Sorry about the delay, guys. Especially for watching on YouTube. Hopefully, you guys can fast forward until we get a. Oh no, that was just me. I thought it popped. Nope, just me. Uh, yeah, definitely keep this hand. This hand seems great. I mean, also, like, Caspi, like, uh, if you're a subscriber and you've been a subscriber for a while, which you have been, 
Uh, I'm definitely more inclined to, like, just play a match against you or with a deck. But, again, the problem is, like, not having the cards. Like, that's mostly my problem. So I don't want to, like, spend a bunch of wild cards to play a deck on MTG Arena that I'm never going to use again. Like, someone actually uh, has sent in a critique for... Um, for a for a divination deck not divination uh divine intervention deck and i was like they're like i prefer you play it on magic online on magic arena i'm like well you know i don't have the i don't have divine intervention on magic arena and i also don't want to spend wild cards on divine intervention um you know what i'll take two here <clears throat> because I'll, I'll likely never play this competitively so sure A lot of things you're doing right now. So, we could just play Sprout Swarm. Or we could play Sap Herd. Probably just better to play this. They're both three power on the board. What am I saying? Divine Intervention? Yeah, Divine Visitation. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, obviously the... Um, the, the white enchantment that makes 4-4 four, four angels. Card is super cool, but I, I like if I'm making... If I'm using my mythic wild cards on Magic Arena, like I really don't want to use them on things like Divine Visitation because it's a cool, it's a cool card, but it's not going to be a card I'm going to use in a bunch of different decks. Especially not if I'm trying to like... I've also been invited to multiple MTG Arena tournaments recently, so... You know, I'd rather have my MTG Arena collection reflect cards that are going to help me in those events. Wow, this is three charter courses and two ops. This is a lot of things, dude. Getting the cards you want on Arena is annoying. It feels like you just have to spend like 100 bucks. I spent 200 bucks to get all the wild cards and rares that I needed. And now that I don't have any more, I'm just like, I guess I'll just spend more money because it's the literal only way to do it. It's really kind of weird. Because I can't trade for things. I can't get rid of cards I don't want. I can't dust the cards I don't want. So if I open like three Divine Visitations and I don't want them, I can't turn them into different Mythic cards, which is super frustrating because it's a trading card game, not a car not a collectible card game. Yep, that isn't that's an 8-4, good buddy. Oh... Oh, all right, they can't attack with that guy anyway. All right, so we really need a red, red mana here. Red mana or bust. Or Conclave or a bunch of different things. That is not one of the things we needed. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, we're dead. Cool. All right. Is Arena going to be a big grind fest? Or is there, I mean, I don't know what the difference between those two are. I think they're both... I mean, it's possible for the, that both are accurate. I have no idea. Knight of Autumn, you don't do anything. Death Gorge Scavenger, you are what we want here. Make a Stand, probably not the right matchup for Make a Stand. I like Tribunal as well. Vivian Reed, also good. Banefire can probably come out. Um, Crushing Canopy actually also seems good here, even though we just added Death Gorge Scavenger as well. Uh, what are we taking out? We need two cards to cut. We'll cut one Tender Sheet. Actually, Tender Sheet seems great here. Yeah, we can bring Tribunal in, but we already have Crushing Canopy. Like, the only permanents we care about are Flyers, and we just brought in Crushing Canopies, so it's basically the same as Tribunal. Only it costs less than it's an instant. So, two cuts. Take one Sapperd and 
Yeah, we'll take one Drew out. Seems fine. I will play first. Yeah, we can keep this hand. <clears throat> Seems good. Yeah, dusting system is not proprietary. A lot of a lot of different games use dusting. Elder Scrolls Legends use dusting. Like, there's tons of games that use that have a have a have a currency system that where you can get rid of old cards for new cards. And in fact, it's actually kind of weird to me that Magic didn't didn't use that. Land. No land. All right, we're doing good here. Like, I swear, most of these matches have either been, like, get flooded in two out of three games or get mana screwed. There's no, like, there's no happy medium here, unfortunately. Sure. <clears throat> I feel like we just want to shalai here. Dusting being intimidating for new players? Please. That's hilarious. What evidence, like what research did they do to come to that conclusion? Well, Hasbro and a digital game company, they only know more. But yeah, that's not, that's not, that's disingenuous. That's not true. Like it doesn't, just because they're not a digital game company specifically, doesn't mean they can't observe things. Like you're, you're, you're removing from the all power of observation and, and learning. And that's, that's, that's kind of silly. Are we like way ahead here? I can't tell. All guys have hexproof, so they have to get rid of the shalai and then do some other nonsense. Huh. And all these dudes got hexproof? Shoot. All right, get a bird. July OP. I feel like we're way ahead here, <laughs> but we're probably not. This is where they just go white source deafening Clarion, right? Double fiery cannonade. Fiery cannonade times two. Star of extinction. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah. <sighs> I 
I just I'm I'm worried this deck doesn't have what it takes to beat these really uh these really established decks, unfortunately. Like you're just you have no way to deal with Star of Extinction, which is pretty bad. I see I'm leaning towards the Elvish Rejuvenator now because having the extra land in play is huge. I don't think that is an example. Though. I don't think the new iPhone is the same as the previous iPhone. I'm pretty sure they're. I, I'm pretty sure they're different. And and saying they're the same is just hyper, hyper like hyperbolic talk. To uh, I, I don't think that's accurate. I think there's definitely changes in hardware at the very least between the different iPhones. It's just not like it's just it's just things people say or believe. Like it's just kind of silly. Yeah, man, the troubles are definitely compounded by uh, Star of Extinction. So what can, what can you do? We need one more card. Um, <laughs> good times, good times. Um, God, I really want another make a stand. It's three mana is so expensive, dude. Let me just put another land in here. I mean, I don't love it, but it might be the option we need. I'll just put an Arch. Oh, God, Arch seems really bad. Vanquisher's Banner seems terrible. Like, we already went over this. None of our creatures' types are the same. Like, we have uh, Dryad, Fungus, Fungus, Elf, Fungus. Like, you name Fungus and you have, like, 12 hits. <clears throat> like, you can name Saproling, but you're never going to draw a card off of it, so it's just better to have Radiant Destiny at that point. And, like, Radiant Destiny still doesn't kill... Uh, it still doesn't get around, like, three damage to everything or um, Star of Extinction. Ugh, God, so exhausting. Like, every match we've lost, it was to Deafening Clarion or Star of Extinction. If they don't have those cards, like, we're in such good shape. Those are the biggest, the biggest adversaries that we have to deal with. Opinion on Tristani is that it's just fine. It's I mean you don't need other five drops. It makes two one ones. And it's a one four, but it has no synergy with Saperlings whatsoever. So I mean it's just kinda eh. It's just a it's a good card that has no synergy with the deck. And fiery cannon aim. But fiery cannon is not even that bad. Two damages two damage we can play around with like spore crown thalads and you know. Eh, it's still bad. It's still bad. I'm going to bring the one song back. Song could be good. We'll do one more. I do like the way the deck feels better. I feel like you have a lot more haymakers. You have a lot more big cards to just knock things out. But, like, the problem is that, like... Like, we, we haven't... We haven't had enough mana is the problem. Like, you you don't get to a point where... When they, when they starve extinction, you don't actually have three mana free because we're tapping out very, very often. I mean, I wish there was a two mana stands option, like uh, like heroic intervention, but but nay, white source or two drop, black source, perfect, perfect. Uh, if the if it's the, if the meta is the problem, then the deck is a problem, because the deck can't exist in a vacuum. Like you can't look at a deck and be like, this is a good deck in a vacuum, because there is no vacuums in Magic. So if the meta is the problem, then the deck is the problem. Then then a deck like this cannot exist in this meta. Hopefully that makes sense. Like you can't have one without the other.
An invention is from Aethervolt. That is true. That is a true story. That is... That was a good draw. What are the odds they counter our Shalai? It's got to be low, right? I mean, they probably have Spell Pierce, so the odds of them counting Vraska are probably much, much higher. <sighs> Essen Scatta. Are you serious? Wizards retort. Fantastic. I mean, either one we've gotten countered. The problem is this deck runs Spell Pierce pretty frequently, and Wizards Retort might be the only counter spell for creatures. So, you know. Really? Because there's a Mono Blue Temple list right here that has one Essence Scatter, four Spell Pierce, and four Wizards Retorts. So that doesn't seem right. This one has this one has no Essence Scatter, one Spell Pierce. This one has one Essence Scatter, four Spell Pierce. So, I mean, I, I definitely feel like spell playing around Spell Pierce is much more productive than playing around Essence Scatter when it's a one of in some lists, and Spell Pierce is often a four of in these lists. There are no good decks in ranking because how you put them on, on the board without gravity, also you'll suffocate. And that's actually a good point. All of these are valid points. So they have seven cards. Uh, maybe this deck is too cute. I mean, it, it might be. It might be. But the point is, like, it's also for someone who's coming back into magic, so... Sure, we'll let this resolve and then we'll actually uh, Spore Swarm here. Sure, one, two, three, four. Got him. Got him. <clears throat> Yo, all right. It's hard to magic in a vacuum also because it's dark and very dusty. Is it dusty in a vacuum? Oh, because of the, like an actual vacuum. I got it. These vacuum jokes are on point here, guys. So I still, I still like uh, where we are with the deck right now. Better one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually. Let's watch this one get countered. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? We have Spell Pierce back up now, so that's pretty good. So, do we kill one of these nerds? Doubt it. Let's just get rid of one of these swampums. Boy, Vraska sure does draw us a lot of lands. Ain't that ain't that the truth? Oh, I see. No, I I oh man, these Lorwyn lands are hilarious. Um I I feel like we just want to save this till the Tempest Gin. Like, I feel like getting rid of one of these guys is not ideal. <sighs> well, now we're getting rid of that. For sure.
man, they don't even care about Vraska. They're like, Vraska who? And I'm like, oh, okay. Haters gonna hate. Would like another white source so we can cast both of these. Wow, that's just rude. Like, they're just doing what we want to do just better. And, like, if we had fungal plots here, we'd only make one guy and then we'd just do nothing else. Actually, let's... Oh, God, they got the... This card's so obnoxious. Is it counter spell or ability? Oh, my God. Actually, it gets rid of two, because then we can Conclave Tribunal on this idiot. I see. I guess we cannot do that. Well, that is unfortunate. They're like, I'll just take it. <laughs> sure. I've been praying against you twice in queue and you want me both times. Well, you probably had it coming. So you can't spell Pierce here, which is fine. My one problem with uh, with Mega Stand is that it doesn't actually take the place of like a plus two plus two or like a plus three plus three. I did. I forgot about PS second ability. Well, that's no good. That's no good. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Draw two. Oh, you're just going to kill Veraska. Seems good. Don't be a land. Cool. So this gets one blocker out of the way at least. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we could always target the Cure of Succession with both Vraska and Conclave Tribunal, but it just, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Like, it's something I was thinking about, but it's not really, I'm not sure if it solves the problem. I think when they had one on, it was probably correct. I think now that they have two, we just, I don't even know. No land. We only have 24 lands in the deck. You can't just keep giving... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten to six. Seems completely reasonable. Merfolk tricks to number three? No. Maybe. <sighs> So there are three. We're actually not in terrible shape. There's a lot of things we could draw here, which are pretty good. Okay, well, that's a lot of cards you're going to draw.
What do they have that at instant speed? Merfolk Trickster number three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we still have enough mana to pay for a spell pierce here. <clears throat> so they go to one here? What is even happening? I mean, they have to... They didn't play a creature last turn, so they 100% have Wizards Retort here, so... I don't foresee this getting through. But they still have to block three guys, and they didn't play any creatures either, so... Oh. Do they have something of plus three, plus three that just kills us? I don't understand. Saps McGaps. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. And we win the game. All right, seems good. I had was not expecting that, but all right. <sighs> Crushing Canopy. Night of Autumn seems great here. All four of you. Come on. Come right on in. Seems better than Make a Stand and Rejuvenator here. Crushing Canopy kills both the enchantment and the other dude. So... You know, okay with that too. Take out the other Rejuvenator. And probably take out Banefire. Death Court Scavenger doesn't do much. It does gain you some life, which is not terrible, but I don't think they have any way to interact with the graveyard profitably. I think this is probably okay. Oh, uh, do I like this hand? I think this is fine. Any white source is good. And, you know, presumably we draw Knight of Autumn. Black source. Okay. Well. Yep, they definitely drew a million cards. <sighs> Here we go again. God, curious obsession. Like, I'm actually surprised at how efficient it is yeah the problem with tyrant is that it's just uh if we get to turn six and we're casting a tyrant and not doing anything else like we're probably already losing so i think we're i think it's a little too slow for us in that situation However, like I said, I do like the way the deck is shaping up. Even if it doesn't win all these matches against these tier 1 decks, like, I think that's still okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna, we're gonna get retorted here. Let's get a little retorted. To the surprise of no one. Are y'all ready for this? This is where the Golden Demise would come in real, real handy, but uh, we don't have that, so. I feel like we're way behind right now, unfortunately. Yep, no blocks. They all either flying or unblockable. Sad days. 
And if you guys are looking for an update to your wardrobe, feel free to check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns on some of the softest micromodal underwear, socks, lounge pants, tees, onesies, whatever you might need. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Definitely give it a, a, a click. You guys can check out the link in the description below or on my Twitch page. Jiggity Jaws, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Really appreciate it. Little sap biddies. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh Yep, we're just gonna go to the next game. They deal us three. We have no real thing to play next turn. There's a land. Could have played Frasca. Clonk yeah, so meh. Scavenger might just be better than Sap Herd here. Being on the play is pretty strong though. I'll bring in two Death Gorgers. Death Gorgy boys. Oh, this hand seems great. Uh, this will come in, in, into play untapped with the Woodland or The Woodland Summoner comes into play untapped with the Swamp. So we'll leave a Sun Petal Grove into this guy, into any one of these. This seems, this seems perfect. I like that like they just probably have no answer for a spore crown thal at any point in the game. That's pretty nice. Oh, interesting. So I just get to drop down whatever here? Huh. Probably just want Night of Autumn for a million. Like they well they guys thinking use their one essence scatter, but they clearly did not have that. How do they not have one or two drop? Is there like a blue card that just blows us out? It feels bad to lose to because it's basically a deck full of uh, full of draft commons and easily dealt with creatures. And we get to just gain two here because you had to discard? Oof. Well, this game's over. Four or five, six, we have nine nine damage on board. Yeah, that'll do. And done. No, not done. Did they not discard? Huh. Oh, they just they discarded a second Tempest Gin. Alright, cool. Keep on eating. Yeah, we're not even gonna play anything here. We just have no reason to. Tender shoot dryad's cool. Actually, what the hell? We'll tender shoot dryad. We'll chicken tender shoot dryad. And then this should give us City's Blessing, so... Popping off. <laughs> yep, that'll do. Got him. Alright, not too bad. I think we went 2-3, which is not terrible. I actually think it's okay. We, we lost to, like, Is It Drake's, Jeskai Control, and... What else? I don't even know. Thank you. Anyway, anyway, really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out. Uh, this is the final deck that we arrived at. I think it's actually pretty good. I like Make a Stand, but I'm kind of iffy on it. Like, you just have to have some way to deal with Deafening Clarion and Fiery Cannonade and Starve Extinction in the format. I really like having Vraska and Vivian Reed. I think they're better ways. I, I think Vraska is just better than the Death Tip Archer guy. And Vivian Reed is just a, just a really good way to deal with enchantments or uh, artifacts or flyers. Uh, the one Banefire I still think is worth it, because you're just going to win some games with it. Or it's just a piece of removal that kills any creature. Shalai, also very good. She survives all the three damage spells and, uh, you know, gives your guys a little bit of protection. She can also put counters on things. Um, 
<clears throat> I, th I think the white is, is is very versatile, especially for Conclave. It's just a really good, really good versatile card that uh, gives you a lot of reach, along with Knight of Autumn. Um, sideboard's pretty fine right now. I think it has a lot of answers to the Drake deck. I think it has a lot of answers to, um, like the, uh, like control decks basically. Because you have Banefire, you have Carnage Tyrant. One problem is that uh, decks that other decks that go wide, like maybe the Boros deck or the, um, like the deck we just played against, you don't really have that many options because you don't want to play things like Golden Demise when you don't have the City's Blessing because it's just bad for you. But um, the deck is definitely fun. I, I like playing Vraska's. I like playing Vivian Reed's. Tender Shoot Dryad's pretty awesome when it actually works. Um, I could see playing Pride of the Conquerors because in some situations you're actually going to be able to save your guys, make them 4-4s four or 3-3s, three which should get out of range. So a lot of times maybe that's good enough. Uh, obviously, if you have Make a Stand, it'll save your guys from Star of Extinction as well. But one of the issues we had was not having enough mana for to do both. Like, we would have to tap out, and then they would have Star of Extinction and be like, okay, well, we can't really do anything about that. So, anyway, Nick, really appreciate you uh, giving me the opportunity to play this deck. Sorry it took so long, and hopefully you uh, you like some of the updates and some of the changes. We surprisingly never had any mana issues. Like, mana, the mana base was never an issue. We either drew too many lands, which is unlikely of 24, or we drew not enough, but that's going to happen. That's just magic. So, But as far as our colors, we never, I never really felt like we didn't have enough of one color or another. So I think that worked out pretty well. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to have your own decks critiqued by me, definitely check out my Twitch profile or the YouTube link. The YouTube description below, rather. Uh, you can email me and uh, send me the deck and... Uh, I'll take a look at it and run it through about two hours of testing on uh, Twitch and uh, you know, see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not going anywhere if you're watching on on YouTube or if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just I'm just going to end the, the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below and I will see you next time.